today I'm reviewing the Beauty of Josen Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsor ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsb.com. Check out my Patreon community or click on the link below. Thank you so much for all the Patreons. You make, make things a lot easier. So thank you guys so much. Um, okay. So I was asked to review this one a few times. So finally get a chance to do it. Had a chance to test it. I've got a lot of thoughts on it. So... I don't know why they call it. Is, it. is the plum they use in there green? I've never seen a green plum. But maybe it's not like available here or something. I don't know. Kind of like white asparagus. I've still never seen it. But anyway. Okay. Infused with plum water, mung bean, seed extract, and nourishing herbal ingredients, this multitasking cleanser gently exfoliates while providing a deep cleanse. Lightweight gel texture leaves a hydrating finish. pH balance formula suitable for sensitive skin. And I've got a few tips on it. Um, in terms of exfoliation, I didn't notice any. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway. Okay, first criteria, packaging. No issues with the packaging. Cute bottle. It sits on my little shelf in the bath shower area very nicely. It's very full in there. So I'm going to finish this one up next. Uh, okay, in terms of denature, drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. In terms of fragrance, there is no fragrant ingredients, but with some of the fruit in here, such as the plum and the blueberry, you might notice a very light fruit scent to it when you use it, if you're looking for it. If you're not looking for it, I don't notice it, but uh, when I was testing it to review it, when I was really like trying to pay attention to it, there's a little bit of that scent in there, but there's no ingredients that are purely fragrant ingredients in it. Uh, the manufacturing location is Korea, so no issues with that. So ease of use, it's a cleanser. If you're not going to use this with any cleansing device or washcloth, use this as a second step cleanser. Uh, use an oil-based cleanser first or a makeup removing balm to get off sunscreen, oil, makeup, debris, whatever. And then use this one after. I will say if you use this in the morning, it works fine by itself as a morning cleanser or... If I'm lazy and I just want to use my little Foreo, fake, it's like a Foreo knockoff. If I use that with this, it will do a pretty good job removing sunscreen, makeup, and things like that. Or if you use it with a washcloth. There, it has a light lather to it, which is nice. It's not super lathery, but it is very light. So, um, anyway. Otherwise, does a good job uh, cleansing. Rinses off fine. Very easy to use. No issues at all with that. In terms of antioxidants and beneficial ingredients, so we've got that prune uh, fruit, which is a deciduous tree with cherry-like fruit that has skin conditioning properties. Uh, for the in cleansing ingredients, we've got cocomidopropyl hydroxysulfatine, which is a thickening and foam-boosting surfactant. Uh, it's very mild and gentle. It's derived from coconut oil and is biodegradable. Uh, then we've got sodium cocal isothanate, which is another cleansing ingredient, claimed to be, be very gentle, doesn't disrupt the skin barrier, very biodegradable, helps give things a lather. And then we've got uh, propylene glycol laurate, which is another cleansing ingredient, which some may be sensitive to it in higher amounts. It's not in very high amount in this product. It's far down the ingredient list, but some people might be sensitive to it. I was not. I have pretty sensitive skin, so there we go with that. Um, okay, then we've got we've got Facilius reditia seed extract, which is skin conditioning herb. We've got green tea extract, antioxidant skin soothing ingredient. We've got Hatunia cordata extract, which is a uh, an ingredient. It's a plant. It has a lot of polyphenolic flavonoids, uh, such as quercetin. Rutin, another type of quercetin, uh, which are great for anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. We've got lotus flower extract, which is a skin conditioning ingredient. We've got rice extract, another skin conditioning ingredient. We've got uh, the prum, uh, prunus fruit extract, which is a humectant with skin conditioning properties. We've got blueberry, great antioxidant soothing ingredient we've got coconut acid which is an emollient and skin conditioning ingredient we've got pomegranate, pomegranate extract which is an antioxidant and astringent uh then we've got clitoria ternata flower extract that's the name of it 
So anyway, skin conditioning. I didn't say that to be naughty. It's the, it's the name of the plant. We've got Garcinia Mango Strata Peel Extract, which is anti-aging and antioxidant. So, a nice list of beneficial ingredients. I mean, for a cleanser, it's going down the drain. So, I mean, it's nice that they included some good ingredients in here. Um, so, no real issues with that. In terms of animal testing, this is cruelty-free, so no issues with that. Performance, it does a nice job cleansing. It rinses clean. It doesn't feel stripping on the skin, though. It doesn't leave it feeling dry or tight. There's no, like, residue feeling left over. Uh, again, I found works better with a cleansing device or a washcloth if you're looking to be kind of lazy occasionally and just do a one-step cleanse. But um, And then I did test the pH when I was at the sink, and the pH is around 5.5 or 6-ish. So no issues with that. Uh, so the full size 100 milliliters 3.3 ounces and retails for $14.50 so it's a pretty good affordable product and a little bit goes a decent long way uh, then in terms of the id factor overall decent cleanser I think this will work well for the majority of people except for those with the most sensitive skin because of that one surfactant ingredient uh very nice uh and then it's very similar to the cult favorite tula purifying cleanser which is i think like m twice the price of this one also very similar to the peking yo low ph pore deep cleansing foam so overall good product so with a 10 being a perfect score i gave this one a nine it's got a lot to like about it and it will work well for most people without any issues so anyway interesting from you guys if you've had a chance to try this out yet or not and if you have what your thoughts are so i'll leave a comment love hearing from you and stay tuned for more tomorrow thank you so much bye guys